and... Hey, Casey. Hey, Dan. Hey, look at this. Hey, you're here. I know. We're actually in a hole. The tennis coverage is running over. I know. You look nice. Thanks. Am I in trouble? Yes. I'll leave. Casey, do you remember the reason why Dan came down to my office in the first place? Uh, please, oh, please don't drag me into this. It was to tell me that he couldn't ask me out because he'd started seeing a woman named Elaine. Am I right, Casey? You see, I'm sitting here with no provolone. Then when he became helplessly in love with me, as men are prone to do, he said he'd tell Elaine that they couldn't see each other anymore. Rebecca. Oh, by the way, I took a couple of phone messages while I was sitting here. Did my father call by any chance? Elaine I... called. Look at this. Hey, Elaine called for you, Casey. Mm. You're pitiful. Well, there hasn't been the kind of time necessary to make a You got a little time on your hands right now? Doesn't he, Casey? This is big time television. Guy puts out Swiss cheese, nothing else. Here's the thing. I would do it right now. I would do it right this second. But I'm in sort of a pre-show mode. That's a very delicate energy and it can't be tampered with. All anyone here is thinking about is the broadcast. Guys, on garbage can basketball? Dan's in pre-show mode. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> see, the thing about the pre-show mode is that... I'll see you after the show. You bet. Just the market analyst I'm looking for. What's going on? We're waiting for the tennis match that wouldn't end to end. Listen. Yes? I've called Elaine. I've told her that while she seems like a very nice woman, I've met someone else. I've met a woman named Rebecca. Wonderful, sensational, dare I add sexy, Rebecca. And Rebecca is who I'm dating right now. That is what I've told Elaine. Really? No, but I left a message on her machine to call me. Dan. Rebecca. Listen to me. Do you like Beck? Can I call you Beck? No. Rebecca's fine. It's okay if you want to go out with Elaine. I don't want to go out with Elaine. It's okay if you I, do. I don't. This isn't school. I know. I'm sorry, Dan. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, what's up? There's a sort of impromptu meeting in the conference room going on. You might want to get in on it. What's going on? It's quarter to one. Sally? Yeah? I gotta go. I want to see a show. I was told there'd be a live sports show of some kind. I hear the anchors are kind of cute, and I uh, want to see the show. You and me both. I'll be down in my office. Will you give me a call when the tennis match that wouldn't end ends? Absolutely. Rebecca? Yeah? I'd never make a fool out of you. Okay. What made you say that? Nothing. No reason. I'll see you in a few minutes. Meanwhile, Sally ran the show without a hitch. 2A and 3. Stand by FX3. Show me Cincinnati and get me Judy in Oakland. Rebecca stuck around and watched the show live from the studio. My guess is that either she's never seen a live television broadcast or she really likes Dan. Either way, she was very excited. Oh my god, it's happening. Yeah. The show started. Yes. Guys, you're all set. Have a good show. Have a good job. Thank you, Alex. Thanks. You have 30 seconds. Yes. Aren't you nervous? Rebecca. Yeah. Remember I was talking to you about being in show mode? Yeah. Show mode. Show mode. Oh, I'll, um, I'll stand over there. Excellent. Okay. Hard not to like her. Tell me about it. 